guys, wanted to come to you really, really quickly and talk to you about this November's customer kudos and why it's so special. So it's Unique's five year anniversary and so they're releasing a limited edition addiction palette, uh, shadow palette, and it's just specifically for our five year anniversary. It'll only be available in November 2017 while supplies last and I feel like it's gonna sell out really quickly and so I wanted to give you a couple of tips and pointers. I have not gotten the actual palette yet but I have a color that's similar to this one and so I'm gonna show you a couple of looks and why it's pretty um, important to get the whole set. And so the kudos, you can buy the palette by itself, it's $55 or you can buy the kudos that comes with the palette with a lipstick of your choice, a cream shadow of your choice, and the cream shadow brush. And I feel like this is the way to do it if you're gonna go with this palette because I'll show you the way you're supposed to be applying these to get the best results. And so, again, I'm not using the exact same colors, but I'm gonna give you a couple of techniques by layering some different cream shadows underneath it. Sorry, now the phone's gonna ring. Um, and then show you kind of a lip color that would go with that. So. What I'm going to do on one eye is I'm going to do a darker cream shadow and you can choose either a darker or a lighter cream shadow. And so I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like with the darker color on one eye and a lighter color on the other eye. And this is our synthetic cream shadow brush and it's perfect for applying. It really is almost imperative to have to apply the cream shadows and they are recommending it with the palette as well because it is so shimmery and sparkly that you can get it right where you want it and you're basically gonna be patting it on top of the wet cream shadow and then you'll do some blending and stuff. So it's gonna be a great way for the holidays to do a really smoky eye using some of these darker colors and there'll be kind of a charcoal undertone and then there'll be this pretty green, blue, purple, and brown that kind of shows through and then these will be kind of your transition color and your highlighting color. And so I'm gonna kind of fudge a little bit with that because I don't have it, but let me just show you kind of the technique Technique really quickly. So I'm going to do one eye darker. I'm going to go with Rapture, Rapturous, which is our um, matte kind of eggplant color. And I'm going to put that on this one eye. And so I just pick that up with the cream shadow brush, get it on that brush. And what you do with the cream shadows is you just pat them onto your lid. And so you just pat them down low at the lash line, kind of build up a little bit. You can pick up more product as you need it, and then just build that onto the lid of your eye. And again, so this side obviously is gonna be a darker, a darker color. And then with that same brush, while this cream shadow is wet, you're gonna pack on with that same brush some of the shadow that you're gonna get from the Anniversary palette. And it's going to give this, see how it gives kind of this shimmer to it? And you just pat that on while it's wet. It keeps it from falling off. And then it also gives you just this pop of metallic-y color. It's going to be perfect, like I said, for the holidays, um, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, um, and New Year's. And then I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll do some blending. So let me go on and show you kind of, let me wipe the dark off of here. And then what I'll do is do some blending with just um, like a dense brush like this. And then you can pull that color underneath to kind of smoke that out a little bit. And so I'm just going to kind of blend it up into the, past my crease a little bit. Kind of soften the color a little bit there in the crease area. And then I can take that color. I'm not adding any product to it. I'm just kind of taking what's already there. And you can drag it down underneath the eye to kind of give you that metallic colored smoky eye. And so you can do this with just one of the metallic colors and then um, and a cream shadow underneath it and you'll get all that in your kudos. And so you can go with more of a green look, you can go with a purple, a blue, kind of a bronzy brown color. And then it's just all about kind of blending, blending the color and smoothing it out just a little bit, but it's a simple, easy, super easy way to do kind of a smoky eye. And it's really pretty. So I think those really highly metallic colors that are in this palette are gonna be gorgeous for um, the holiday season. I got a little bit on the inside here. 
And then you can go with a little bit of lighter color here. You can do a highlight underneath your brow a little bit to make it all kind of come together. But again, it's so simple, just two steps. Make sure the cream shadow's wet and then apply that metallic color over the top of it, okay? And so let me show you then on the other eye, if I go with a lighter cream shadow, and so it kind of just depends on what the look is, what you want. Um, this obviously is a, a more of a smoky eye and a darker eye. Can't get that off the inside. But if you go with more of a nude cream shadow like Victorious or Bittersweet, it's going to change the look. I'm going to use the same um, shadow that I did over this one just to show you that if I do a lighter, more of a nude cream shadow as my base, And again, you pack it on pretty heavy so that it's nice and tacky so that when you put that other color over the top of it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to adhere to it. Okay, so that is kind of the nude color. And then I'm going to take that same purple color that I used for the other eye and pack it on over the top. And it kind of makes it more of a lavender almost shimmer. And so I'm assuming that that's what it's going to do with the um with the shadow the anniversary shadow palette i ordered mine but see how that's a little bit lighter and so you can go and again you're just going to blend and you're going to take it underneath the eye again just to give it some of that same color underneath but it's definitely a lighter color so if you're afraid of the really bold colors in that palette there are ways to tone them down a little bit and this could seriously even be a day look um with the bittersweet underneath it and you could do with that palette you could do several different cream shadows and i can help you choose the cream shadows that would look best depending on what the look is that you're going for and then of course when you do more of a a darker eye even this color eye really but see how much lighter that is and then that one is more of a true kind of smoky eye whereas this one just has that little pop of the purple. And so when you go with the darker eye, I would suggest going with a lighter lipstick shade to go with that. Now, if you do it with a lighter cream shadow, you probably could get away with a little bit darker lipstick, but the key is, the, the rules are, I guess, if you wanna follow the rules, is when you go with a dark eye, you go with more of a nude lip. When you go with a lighter eye, you go with more of a bold lip. And so I would still consider this to be a little bit of a bold eye, although it's much more toned down because I added that Victorious underneath it versus the rapturous, rapturous, can't even say that word today, on the um, on this eye. So some of our, our lighter colored lipsticks that I would suggest is, this is upper class, which is very pretty, and if you, that would definitely go with the lip look. We also have upscale, which is another, um, a little bit more pink and shimmer to that one, but definitely you could use it with this palette. Uh, well to do is kind of our, our definite nude color. So that would definitely go with it. You could put a lip pencil underneath, underneath that to change the color just a little bit. Or you could go, in my opinion, also with a fluent, which is just kind of a, like a taupey mauve rose color, I guess. Um, so any of those colors would look great with the darker, darker eye. But don't be afraid of this palette. I think it's going to be, it's definitely trending. And I think even for women of, of age, they always say as you get older not to wear shimmer. But I think if you're doing it on your eyes just to make your eyes pop, and you, any of these colors are just going to be gorgeous over the top of a cream shadow. And it's such an easy look. Two things, blend it in a little bit, um, and you can get different looks depending on which cream shadow you pick. You can pick another cream shadow if you want to go with it because these palettes last a long, long time. My original palettes that I bought many, many moons ago are still going strong. They're highly, highly pigmented. You're not going to need to use a lot of it, and you're going to get everything you need in that kudos. You're going to get the cream shadow, the palette, the special brush that you need to apply it, and then you're gonna to get to choose your lipstick color too. So put a little lashes on. Um, you don't even really need to use a liner with this because you're dragging it underneath the lash line. If you wanna put liner on it, you can, absolutely. But it's really um, gonna make some beautiful, beautiful eye colors. So anyway, I wanted to get that out to you because I am afraid they're gonna sell out before I actually get mine 
to really show you the colors, but mine is mine has shipped and so it should be here um, hopefully in the next few days and then I'll come back and actually show you the looks. But look at the difference, same eyeshadow powder color, um, just different um, cream shadows underneath it and doing that cream shadow makes it stick on there. It'll last for all day long I'm sure because these have a built-in primer and I did prime my eyes ahead of time as well um, but it kept look there's no fallout even from that shimmery shadow that I used so I'm really excited about the anniversary um, palette uh, like I said it's um, it's something that I think will be good for for any woman of any age makes a great gift for um, anybody that's a makeup lover so all those things think about um, and let me know if you have any questions if you want me to help you with some colors to coordinating colors to go with it I'd be happy to do that okay thanks guys bye